This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hero Canucks and I've been waiting to do our Skylake system for way too long now. Uh, particularly because I wasn't sure which case I'd want to use and also with our upcoming changes in the workflow for our video production, I decided it was now the time to do the Skylex system uh, primarily as an editing PC. So without any further ado, let's outline the parts for our $3,500 Skylex system. Now with every new build, my two favorite parts is first, the blown out view of all the parts that are individually aligned and will be going inside the PC. There's just something awesome uh, about that view. And also obviously the finished product, but more on that later. And so the core of this machine is the Gigabyte Z170 XP SLI motherboard. It's a very basic board with a dark color scheme that works perfectly well here. There's triple PCI Express lanes that are 3.0. The four RAM slots are occupied by 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory from Corsair. These are low profile vengeance modules and they're awesome for least interference yet offer incredible speeds of 3200 megahertz. The board is equipped with amp audio with cool orange strip which actually might be an inspiration for the final color choice of our Skylake system. For the processor we're using the i7 6700K that I plan to overclock to at least 4.8 gigahertz because because for rendering I need to sort of compensate for the lost two cores from my previous 3930K chip, so we'll see how that plans out. But have no fear, check out how we've utilized the parts from my previous X79 system with a, there's gonna be a link in the description below, and it's going to be a complimentary workstation PC for my new Skylake system. For cooling the CPU, I'm sticking with the Kraken X61 from NZXT. It's by far my favorite CPU all-in-one cooler. It's quiet, it's powerful, uh, and offers manual support through the desktop app. Plus, it has RGB lighting that just complements the entire build very well. For graphics, I'm pretty much maxed out here with two-way SLI on GTX 980 Ti reference cards that will help uh, in the rendering department quite well with CUDA support uh, through the Adobe CC application and also eat through any game that I throw at it. Now for storage we're really going full out with the Skylake system utilizing only solid state drives for this machine and we're doing this because we'll have a dedicated NAS with mechanical storage outside of the case uh, for backup and stuff and the reasoning behind this is because mechanical storage is not only loud uh, and hot but uh, my previous x79 workstation machine had six mechanical drives in there and I think it's about time we change that. So OCZ hooked us up with triple vector 180 SSDs at 480 gigabytes each. That gives me enough space for any ongoing projects that I'm working on. And the operating system plus the main Adobe products will be installed onto the 400 gigabyte Intel 750 PCI Express and VME SSD. I'm particularly excited for this combination because I will raid the SATA drives and the speed of the Intel drive is already insanely fast. So I shouldn't need to wait on any loading anywhere. To color the interior of the build, we have the Hue Plus from NZXT that allows full RGB selection from the desktop app, and I like that. And I want just to make sure that this is the best PC that I've ever built. And to power everything, we have an 850 watt uh, power supply from Be Quiet, as my priorities, uh, aside from performance, is silence for the Skylake machine. And the Silent Wings fan integrated here will definitely do the trick. And the final piece is the case, and we've chosen the new Fantex Evolve ATX in silver. Now, we have reviewed this case originally in white, but the paint job covered all the aluminum, so what Fantex has done now is given us a beautiful sandblasted silver aluminum exterior that looks absolutely fantastic. The whole build of this enclosure is extremely solid, and actually for anyone interested in a new ATX enclosure, perhaps you're thinking of an upgrade, I would highly recommend the new Evolve ATX. And so I initially built a partial system to make sure everything loads and there are no problems with booting, installed Windows onto the Intel SSD and found a nice little tidy spot for the Hue Plus right beside the power supply that still grants me access to it if needed without interfering with any other component in the system. 
Then I went ahead and populated the second 980 Ti after making sure the drivers were installed as I did not want to experience any issues with Windows 10 and really just wanted to jump straight into benchmarking and editing on this PC right away. One of the OCZ SSDs went onto the front and I might need to figure out a way to reroute the cables the other way facing to the front of the computer and this way my SSD is in the correct orientation plus it would give me a chance to hide these ketchup and mustard cables and that is my only current critique of this build so far. The ugly cables on this awesome power supply just feel out of place and once the color theme is decided I am definitely going to be uh, getting proper sleeved extensions. And the other two SSDs are on the back. Uh, these are two drives that will be set up in RAID 0 and I'm going to seriously need to do some uh, work on cable management, but that will come in a later video. But that wraps up this part of the Skylux system upgrade. Uh, make sure to be subscribed to be notified when part 2 comes out. We'll be taking a look at the finished interior of this system. I'm going to be making sure that it's the sexiest system that I've ever built. We'll be taking a look at the benchmarks and of course encoding scores just to see if I am satisfied with the 6700K to be used as a main editing chip aside from my secondary 3930K system that I'll be using uh, to complement rendering. Uh, but if you have any feedback on what I should change or what I should do with the system, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.